in today's video i just want to share with you why it is always good for you to have a positive mindset and also look at things from another angle there are three instances where i show this kind of positive mindset and it really changed everything the first one like you know is in my pig farming activities this is what happened on my pig farm i have this kind of lock where there's kind of a, a hole this way so you press the lock once it gets there then the, it enters you don't need to do any padlock to i mean crash it okay so anybody at all can go there open it and enter and then i go to a point i was re receiving numerous complaints my mom would just call me to the hard effect with this kind of person why just as i was blinking my eyes i saw this person in the pen interacting with the animals so I went there, I tried to stop him, and that was so he didn't also agree and we started fighting up and down. I said, well. So there was another time, children in the community, like they came for school, the community school, they came there. And my family too is not that far from the community, so they can just see it anytime. So those who came there as part of their talk, personal talk to them. Uh -huh. So they didn't seek any permission, you know how children behave. They just came, they opened it, they entered. And most of the children too, they are those I've been working with. When they leave school or they close for school, they come there, we go to approach the grass together. So for them, to them, they think at any point in time, they can just have access to the animals and then interact and go back. So they went to open the pen and then they started interacting with the animals and also approaching grass and giving it to them. At that point, too, my mom went and saw them, hey, who asked you people to, to enter? How did you get enter? Stop on children up and down, you see. And then the children ran away and left the place. You understand it? But my mom was very concerned with the school children because there was one particular boy, a very stubborn one, and that it can be very dangerous. Even personally, when I'm trying to sweep the place, I need to get him busy by dropping some feet before I do the cleaning. Otherwise, he wouldn't allow you trying to like bite you, but it will not bite. Just trying to, I mean, trying to uh, threaten you like that with that kind of silly sound and also some saliva from their mouth, mucus, all that. I understand that foam you see from the mouth of the pig. So my mom was very concerned because should this pig come out at that point, if it does not even attack these children, it might end up uh, leaving the pen and running somewhere else, which we cannot maybe trace where it has gone to. So that was a major concern for that. And when she complained, this is where I got a positive outlook of it. I saw that no, there's a problem with this aspect. It means I need to get a padlock. As simple as that. So I got myself a padlock. Anytime I close from work, I, uh, I put the lock on. We are done. And as I'm talking to you, there has never been any incidents like that again. So as you mean, I was also following that pattern, the same pattern, complaining and also trying to blame them, sack children. You see, it's not going to solve the problem. But once I just got the padlock, anytime I'm not on the farm, I put it on. And I come back, I open it, I enter. It is solved. That is the first one. And the second moment I showed this kind of positive mindset was also in my melon activities, corn melon activities, rural melon. Yeah, I will really happy with it. Rural melon, you understand it. So the rural melon also, what happened is, it's a whole, it's like in the center of the community. So people just come there anytime they drop their product, they go home, and they expect that you come and mail it, and they do come back to pack it. Even if they are not there, they trust me to mail it for them. So when they can, they come to pack it. But I go to a point. Some try to outsmart the system, you understand it, it's human nature, but not paying. So what they do is, they wait when there's darkness, you know the community lacks electricity. So when there's darkness, that is where now they pass through the back door, come and take their, their product and they go back home without paying. You understand, how stubborn human beings can be. So they were doing that several times, but to me, if I am there doing it myself, I think I knew each and every one span. If I see this span or container, I know that it's from this family. So to me, if you take it, I can still trace it and get my money from you. Okay, but my old woman, as usual, she tried to complain and started fighting the customers. You understand it? Hey, why did you take this thing without paying? I saw you bring that thing, but the, at least you come to pick it. But I went there, I didn't see the product in the mail, the center. How, where did it pass? Why do you take it without informing me? What if a whole lot of stuff? At the moment, relax, okay. Don't suck our people. If you do that, we are going to lose our customers. Okay, let me just approach them. So this is how we just did it. A simple solution. 
but it's getting darker. Lock the uh, close the door and lock it. Keep the keys inside the house. When they come, they'll come and ask you for permission to go and take it. And then you go and open it. You give it to them, you collect your money from them. Simple. And that one too, soft, gone. You understand it? And the third instance was in the local area, you know, we used to spread some mats or some kind of tarpaulin on the ground, bare floor like that, and we dry our grains corn, beans, and other things, anything that is dryable. We just spread on the floor like that, open. And you must decide to sit there with some stick, trying to drive away good and other, other fowls around. So sometimes you forget, and then maybe you, whilst you're taking, watching over this uh, dried product, you sleep. Before you wake up, goats or sheep have eaten part of the, the product. So you become angry in that sense. I you know in the local area, it's either you take a stone, and then you stone at that particular animal. You try at it very hard to the extent that you want to even kill it. Okay? And sometimes you have to chase it. If you don't get it, you end up going to the owner of that particular animal to go and complain. Your good came to my house and did it, you complain bitterly. You understand? And you get it ended up bringing a whole chaos in the community. You see this one, this and this will be complaining. So if my good comes to your house, the person is angry. If his also comes to my house, I'm also angry. So like, we are just fighting because of animals. I said, well, already I've seen a solution to this. So what do I do? I constructed this dryer where I use a wire mesh around it, like that way, with a, a, a door. So anytime I, cook, I want to dry something, or my family wants to dry something, they go to dump it in the dryer, they spread it, and then, because of the net, goods cannot go there, the fowls can also go there. You can go to farm and come back and pick your things intact. Nothing goes missing. Understand it? So we just I'm just telling this story because usually we try to complain and not even look at any solution to it. Talking, 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 talking. You're only annoyed. And at that moment, all of course is channeled towards the anger. But if you also relax, sit back and think, okay, what if this thing that happened? It is teaching me something. What can I learn from this situation? Quickly, so you find a solution to it. And ever since I've developed that kind of mentality, I've never had any like I've never seen any problem like that. I don't really see things as problem. If I look at it closely and I'm not finding a solution, I need to wait and sit back, look at it clearly. Okay, and most of the times I just think twice and then the solution comes to mind. So usually in your life too, you can just practice it. You shouldn't be complaining. If you go here, people are complaining. That is even where you can spot the business opportunity. Giddy, giddy, giddy. You can spot it. Understand? Because somebody is just interested in a token, but you provide a solution, they come and pay you for it. That's as simple as that. You don't have to go and be Googling how do I find business opportunity, how do I look for a business idea. No. Just the complaints people are making up and down. They pay attention to it. They'll talk, talk. You go back home. You sit down and analyze it. Where do I come in? Can I provide a solution to this complaint? What if I give this to them? Will this help them in the short time? What I think about the long time? If it does, Charlie, you are gone. Before you see these same people will bring you their money and they no longer complain about the problem they had already. And in that sense, you get something to your pocket. Okay, you get some cash in your pocket. As simple as that. So mindset is always everything. Change it and you live a happier life.